Assalamualaikum and hello everyone In this video, what we're going to learn is actually Explain SN1, SN2 mechanism And show the SN1 and SN2 mechanism of a given haloalkane And compare the relative reactivities of primary, secondary and tertiary haloalkane Okay, so let's look on your notes on page 6 Okay, so SN1 So what does it mean by SN1? S ni is actually substitution N ni adalah nucleophilic. So, SN, K1 okay, ni adalah unimolecular. Unimolecular ni, uni ni maksudnya 1 lah. Okay, so kalau yang SN2, dia adalah bimolecular. Bi, that's 2. So, satu lah, we always call it as SN1 and SN2. Okay, so first kita tengok dekat SN1 lah. So, let's look for the case of SN1. So, the rate equation adalah rate is equal to K. Rx. Rx ni it means that is actually our halo alkin lah. So Rx ni is actually our halo alkin. And then what is the order of the reaction? Okay so contohnya for example if here we don't have any number kan. Bila belajar balik our reaction kinetic so it means that ni adalah to the power of 1. So the order of the reaction is first order. And the rate of reaction kita tengok rate ni. Is directly dependent only on the yang ini square bracket ni means that it is concentration. So the rate of reaction depends on the concentration. So square bracket ni maksud dia adalah concentration of haloalkins only. Okay. So apa yang beza dengan SN2 ni? Okay. SN2 ni rate equation dia adalah rate equal to KRX masih lagi haloalkin. Okay, tapi NU ni is actually nucleophile. So, the order of reaction is second order. Sebab again, RS ni to power of 1. Nucleophile ni pun to the power of 1. So, 1 plus 1 jadi 2. Which is, that is the order of reaction. Second order. And then, for the case of SN2, the rate of reaction depends on two things. One adalah concentration of haloalkin. Now, the one adalah concentration of our nucleophile. So, itulah dari, dari situlah datangnya SN1 and SN2. Okay, so besides that, we have to know SN1 ni mostly reaction dia dengan weak nucleophile. So, weak nucleophile adalah neutral molecule with lone pair. So, yang ini kita dah belajar in our nucleophilic substitution reaction. Again, H2O adalah H2O kalau kita buat dia punya structure. Ha, it's this one. We have our lone pair. Our ammonia pun... 1, 2, 3, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, and then we also have our alcohol. So, alcohol ni pun. Alcohol ni kita ada lone pair juga. Okay, so uh, that is actually our weak nucleophile. Which, uh, which is neutral molecule with lone pair. Tapi kalau SN2, dia mestilah strong nucleophile which is negatively charged species. So, here we have OH- and H2- OR- dengan CN- So, yang ni C triple bond N lah our nitrile. Okay, so for example, here what I want to show to you. So, ni adalah contohnya equation um, for a substitution reaction. So, kita tengok ni adalah kita punya haloalkin dengan our water which is our weak nucleophile and we're going to form our alcohol. So, kalau SN1 rate dia is only equal to our concentration of haloalkin. So, dalam kes ni, this equation, what is actually our rate is ni, rate dia adalah K concentration of CH3 Cl. Okay, tu sahaja. How about our weak nucleophile ni? Tak perlulah. Okay, lepas tu, for this, uh, the second equation ni. So, CH3, CH2Cl plus NH3. So, NH3 ni weak nucleophile. So, kita tahu dia ada SN1. So, CH3, CH2Cl. Rate is equal to K. So, CH3, CH2Cl. Okay, so that's for SN1.
So kalau untuk SN2 ni kita tengok Okay so we still have our Haloalkin ni tapi kita tengok Dekat sini NaOH ni adalah Na plus dengan OH minus So we know it's a strong nucleophile So kalau strong nucleophile Kita akan um, the rate of reaction tu Just depend on the Concentration of nucleophile So dalam kes ni Even though we know it's NaO We know it's sodium hydroxide but we know our Nucleophile adalah OH minus So when I write down the rate, rate is equal to K um, CH3CL Kalau nak buat NaO boleh, nak buat OH minus sahaja pun boleh Okay, so for the second one Okay, yang ini pun KCN K plus dengan CN minus So CN minus is actually our nucleophile Our strong nucleophile So dalam kes ni, our rate is equal to K Oh ni double K CH3CH2Cl dengan CN minus. So that is actually for our SN2. So that is only the introduction of what is SN1, SN2. Next we're going to look at the mechanism. Uh, later on we're going to look at um, apa ni specific example. Okay, tapi kalau example general mechanism for SN1 is actually yang ini kita dah biasa tengok sikit lah. So, first one adalah formation of carbocation. So, actually our X ni is a good living group. So, dia boleh leavekan the group ni by itself. So, bila dia dah leave the group. Okay, so our carbocation ataupun um, our carbon here, dia poor electron. So, when it's poor electron, Rich electron boleh lah attack. So that's why start to nucleophilic attack. Then we will get our product. So ni adalah kita biasa tengok lah. But then the general mechanism for SN2 ni. Uh, we're going to combine what um, what actually we have learned in chapter 11. Introduction tu. Ha, yang ini kita akan tengok in terms of 3D arrangement. Ini dia adalah nucleophilic attack from the back. Okay so yang ini Uh, case ni dia adalah simulti, uh, simultaneous lah Nucleophilic ni akan attack carbon And the living group ni Ataupun our halide ni akan leave the carbon The carbon apa ni The carbon halogen bond ni Okay and then we gonna have Activated complex Okay so sekarang ni kita tengok activated complex ni Carbon kita sekarang ni in the middle here We have five bond but we know carbon only has four bond Okay, so what would happen adalah produk dia nanti kalau kita tengok sebenarnya Okay, dia ada inversion of configuration Yang ni ni macam payung terbalik ha. So, sebab tu lah dia ada kita buat ni ya, ada payung terbalik ni But it's okay, later on we're going to look at the example ha. So, yang inilah yang completely new yang kita akan belajar Okay, so that's the two difference between SN1 and SN2 And besides that, what we have to learn adalah order of reactivity Kalau SN1, dia prefer uh, tertiary dengan secondary Okay, kenapa? Sebab nanti akan form carbocat ion ni Kan step 1 adalah formation of carbocat ion Tertiary is more stable than secondary and more stable than primary So that's why lah tertiary dengan secondary prefer SN1 Tapi kalau SN2 We prefer lagi sebenarnya Pada meta halal and primary And besides that We have to look at the size of alkyl group Okay so alkyl group ni Dia akan bagi steric effect Steric effect ni maksud dia Dia akan ambil space yang besar lah The space So dia kata the presence of bulky alkyl group So contohnya Ini uh, So this is our metal halide Okay, so ada tiga hidrogen. We don't have any alkyl group. So, senang sahaja nucleophilic nak attack from the back. The same goes for primary. Senanglah our nucleophile to attack from the back. But for example, kalau secondary dengan tertiary, there's too many carbon. Susah lah nak nucleophilic attack from the back ni. Ha, tak boleh dia nak buat sneak attack kan. Dan susah sikit. Okay, so, um, so that is actually our SN1 dengan SN2. So, again, SN1 kita nak tengok uh, Kalau penting kena ingat yang pasal nucleophile ni Weak nucleophile dengan the, uh, tertiary and secondary uh, Halo alkin prefer to undergo SN1 Kalau SN2 uh, We're going to talk about the strong nucleophile And besides that kita ingat dia adalah Metal halide dengan primary uh, Halo alkin that will undergo SN2 reaction Hmm <laughs> hmm